Workers received a record boost to their pay packets over the September quarter. Wages grew by 1.3% over the quarter to be 4% higher in annual terms. The strong outcome was supported by several Fair Work Commission decisions, which came into effect from 1 July this year. This includes the annual minimum and award, and award wage increases and the one-off increase for workers in the aged care sector. Reflecting this, industries where workers are mainly paid through award agreements recorded the largest boost. This includes accommodation and food services, healthcare and social assistance, and the retail trade industry. But we don't expect wages to continue growing at this pace. The increases tied to decisions taken by the Fair Work Commission will not support growth going forward. At the same time, growth in wages set by individual agreements showed signs of moderating over the September quarter. This was particularly visible in those industries that pay workers mainly through individual agreements, such as the mining industry, the finance industry and the wholesale trade industry. Wages growth in individual agreements are quicker to respond to changes in the health of the labour market and the economy more broadly. And we have seen the labour market soften. The labour force numbers for October, which were also released this week, confirm that the labour market is cooling with the unemployment rate ticking up from 3.6% in September to 3.7% in October. And even though employment has increased since the middle of the year, the total number of hours worked has actually fallen suggesting that employers are no longer trying to squeeze many more hours from their labour force. In previous periods where the labour market has softened, this is a relationship we've observed. Employers first adjust hours work before looking to reduce headcount. As conditions in the labour market continue to ease, we expect wages growth to stabilise and moderate, firstly in individual agreements, before spreading to enterprise agreements and award agreements. As a result, we don't expect the Reserve Bank to respond to the strong wages read. The outcome was not a surprise and is consistent with the Reserve Bank's recently published forecast. We expect annual wages growth to moderate to be around 3.5% over the next year or so. At 3.5%, this would be consistent with inflation running within the, the Reserve Bank's target of 2 to 3%, provided productivity returns to more normal levels. Ultimately, over the long run, real wages growth can only be sustained if we become more productive. Getting productivity to fire again is the next major challenge the Australian economy must face.